the Holy Spirit of God is grieved with many who are saying God has said and he has not. They are falsely representing the Lord God Almighty and they will be held accountable for lying and deceiving every person that they spoke to who believed. Come with me in Jeremiah 23, 16. Thus says the Lord of hosts, do not listen to the words of the false prophets who prophesy to you. They teach you vanity, emptiness, falsity, and futility, and they fill you with vain hopes. They speak a vision of their own minds and not from the mouth of the Lord. Verse 19, behold, the tempest of the Lord has gone forth in wrath. A, a whirling tempest, it shall whirl and burst upon the heads of the wicked. The anger of the Lord shall not turn back until he has executed and accomplished the thoughts and the intents of his mind and heart. In the latter days, you shall consider and understand it perfectly. I did not send these false prophets, says the Lord, yet they ran. I did not speak to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, then they would have caused my people to hear my words. Then they would have turned them, my people, from their evil ways and from the evil of their doings. 25. I have heard what the prophets had said who prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed. I have dreamed visions on my bed at night. How long shall this state of things continue? How long yet shall it be in the minds of the prophets who prophesy a falsehood, even the prophets of the deceit of their own hearts? The Holy Spirit is grieved with the body of Christ today. Many people are saying, God said, I hear the Lord saying, they're saying God said, and the Lord has not said, they are preaching and prophesying falsehood falsely misrepresenting the Lord God Almighty brothers and sisters I say this in love repent and turn from your wicked ways while you have time and take heed to the word of the Lord and stop falsely falsely misrepresenting the Lord God Yeshua HaMashiach declaring 